We're gonna do a little check-in on the GTR. We've made quite a bit of progress so far. As you can see, this sealant here has dried and cured. It's ready to go. Um, I think all we need to do is sand it. Um, next, Casey, though, is gonna be pulling out basically the whole interior, at least in the back end, because we have to get to the top of the stock suspension struts to be able to take those bolts out that hold them in because we're gonna be putting in the air ride. So I think that's what's next. I don't know where Casey is though. He's out doing some tomfoolery, I guess. But that's the next step. I'm gonna pull out the interior here, get to the uh, bolts that are holding in these struts, and then we'll put in the air struts and then eventually run the air lines as well. Um, and then we've also got some performance parts that we need to put in. Here's that factory downpipe that we pulled out. Um, I think the other one is still in there. We still need to pull that one out. I think it's one of those bolts, like I was saying, they're absolutely horrendous to pull out. So that's the next step. One foot in front of the other. Oh, that's the next that's step? That's the next step. Yeah, so the, uh, the other downpipe's still in there, right? Why'd you have to ruin my day? Yeah, what are you doing, dude? I'm out of here. No, don't leave, don't leave, come back. <laughs> yeah, so the other part of pulling out the rear part of the interior is we have to access the fuel pump because we're upgrading the fuel pump. So, so to get to that fuel pump, you have to, you have to pretty much take apart the entire interior. We also have to, did you know you have to take apart the freaking door panels to get to, oh, I know you know this, but you have to take apart the entire, take off the whole door panel just to access, to, to, to replace the you mirror caps. the fun caps. part is when we wrap the cars? Taking this piece off. Oh my gosh. That's fun. You gotta take the whole door panel off, just spaghetti noodle your arm in there. <laughs> some some bolts. Classic. But yeah, so rear interior, take this puppy off, this puppy off, the hood off. Oh yeah, because we have we have something coming for this instead of the, the factory. Yeah. Oh baby. A little surprise. A little surprise. A surprise. I mean, there's really, like, really only one thing that would be like a surprise for the trunk. So we're doing a trunk delete. So we're trunk just delete. Open. Oh my god! Yeah. What about the wing? You gonna uh, mount it right here on the side? We're gonna duct tape it. So oh, right okay. Here, so, yeah. Fire, Try, uh, dude. Bumper mount wing. Bumper mount wing. Tape. So, and I, I was saying, you still need to sand this, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna sand that. So like. Oh, you already did this side? No, you saw me doing it earlier. Oh. So, um, you know, I cleaned up the wheel well a little bit better so we're gonna sand this get it smooth fill in any low spots and then we're gonna paint it all so wow 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 all right so here we've got the air tank we've got the sub box that was already in the car and so i think we're gonna mount the air tank on top of that box it's gonna look super clean the tank right here the i think they're jl audio w3s yeah eight inch w3s those are sick dude Mine Jeff, I don't know. My name's Jeff. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's gonna all sit in here. The compressor might sit at the back right there, kind of hidden. Um, and then here's like the management module. Yeah, that'll be hidden too. Back oh, that'll be hidden box. too? Yeah. Oh, so pretty much the only thing you'll see is it's just a, super clean. a couple airlines going to the tank. And then that's it. So Sick. You'll just see the tank just at the top. I like it. So just a clean, nice yeah. clean trunk. And it's dope that you can still see the subs. I also like the subs have these covers on there. A lot of subs, you know, are just open. And you maybe lose like a tiny bit from having the covers, but it's protecting the subs and protects anything else that might hit them. All right, we're taking off the trunk now. A little earlier than expected, but there's no reason we couldn't get ahead on the build. So that's what we're doing. Go, Casey. Focused. Focus. 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 You're over there eating a burrito, missing all the action. Well, your bur your burrito's getting cold. <laughs> the action's getting hot, Paul. So. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. The trunk is off. The trunk delete, right, Casey? No more trunk. Kind of like the trunk delete. Maybe just delete the wires too. But I mean, trunk delete. Lightweight. Maybe not the most aerodynamic, but. <laughs> Yeah, once that air comes over, it's going to go oh, right big here. time. Down You're getting force? all the turbulence. <laughs> That's how it works. I feel like it's more drag than downforce. <laughs> no, it's, it's, uh, it's not, Paul. It's not. Okay. Science. Just, yeah, I crunched science. the it's, numbers it's not. already. Casey, what are you doing? So getting these hard lines in real quick so we can take out the old struts and put in these new nice air struts. Ooh, new air struts. These look so sick, dude. The freaking red anodized. Red and black, baby. The little gold fittings, too. Way sick. Here's a secret for you. Always use the liquid pipe sealer instead of the tape. You won't have any leaks. 
Smart. Are you air guys? Guys, Casey is full of knowledge. Always listen to what he has to say because he knows what's up. 90% of the time. Mm. Not all, all of the time, 90% of the time, right? Right, 60% of the time, every time. Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, big hugs. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> oh, Where were you back there? Dude, I was just, I'm just a videographer, bro. That's all I do. Uh, we got those three nuts up top, which, check this out. Look at all these parts. <laughs> you have to take it off. Oh my gosh. You have to get to three little nuts up top. You have whole to look. Interior. Guys, that's the whole interior the rear interior yeah. to get to the three nuts or bolts at the top of the suspension strut. It's insane. Take a look. Oh my gosh, look at that. And the fuel pump. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, time to take this boy out. Yeah, and then just one at the bottom. To the control arm. Nice. Just like that. Boom, baby. Out. She comes right on out. Yep. And the new one's going to go in the air strut. Levi's filming a promo over there, so we have to be really quiet. But we're putting in the air strut now. Quiet, Bob. Quiet, Bob. Quiet, Bob. Quiet, Bob. He's got to put on the top bolts up in there. So Casey's up there putting on the nuts onto the top suspension strut to hold that thing in on the top end. It's crazy that this thing's just held in by three bolts and then the bottom is just held on one by one giant bolt and nut. But that's how it is. I mean, honestly, it's kind of most cars, even on my, my car, when I did my springs and shocks, it's the same way. Except much harder to do than this one. <laughs> you ever just do something and realize how out of shape you are? Yeah. I'm still tired from that little... Scuffle. A little Levi. scuffle. Here she is almost in. We just got to get this bottom part in and then you'll go up and tighten those up there, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So those are just on to hold it in place and then Casey's going to put in the bottom bolt to the control arm and then uh, tighten the nuts that are up inside there. There she is. Couldn't film that part, but I just basically held up the whole rotor assembly and control arm so that because it sags down when it's not connected to the strut so that Casey could get this bolt in and then he puts a little nut on that side and so he's gonna go ahead and tighten up that nut right there and the nuts that are on top holding the, the strut in to the actual frame and that's it that's it and then he's basically just got to run the hard lines um, through I don't know actually where he's gonna drill that hole um, but it's gonna go through in there and eventually make it to the tank. Yep, so we'll mount these up here. This oh, there we go. Over there, and our hard lines are gonna come up through the bottom. Oh, through, sweet. Through a grommet, so. Perfect, I yep. like it. Nice job, Casey. Good morning, and welcome back to the GTR build series. We're here with Mr. Casey, as expected, and I just wanted to give a little update as to where we're at, because I think last, last thing I showed was putting in this rear left air strut. Um, and Casey, very quickly after that, added all the other air struts in, installed those, and he also ran the airlines. So we're gonna take a look here in the trunk so you can see the airlines. Here's the tank. As you can see, those airlines run to right here. Um, you can see they go through here. So there's a rubber grommet back in here. It's hard to see on the camera. It's probably too dark right in there. And so they come up and run through the back so they're nice and clean, you don't see them, and go straight to the tank. Yeah, uh, Compressor hidden beneath the box. Right, yes, the compressor's there. in there. And then we have the manifold behind here too, so everything on the back side is organized like that, just ran through a lot of these holders, so everything's yep. Here at 880, perfect. we like quality. Yeah, clean. Right? Clean, clean quality. quality. So yeah, the management, like you were saying, is up here. Um, and then the compressor is back behind the sub. So it's kind of nice that we had the sub box. It was almost like a, 
a free um, concealment thing without having to like lose trunk space for no reason. So we lost the trunk space due to the subs, but we also kind of conserved a little bit because we were able to run the compressor behind there. But anyway, so what's next, Casey? Uh, so we're just running the power in the ground for the main compressor, um, just up through there, up through the firewall, through another grommet, um, and then just like so with our kind of they call it like the remote wire we run it off the headlights so you can turn it on and off um that way it's not going to like pull power when your car is sitting or off or whatever so yep. but we'll show that too sweet and yeah so you can still see all these grommets or not grommets sorry the uh root nuts are nuts, they've been bro. in for a little bit little um grommy boy. little grommy boy and so these are already they've already been sealed twice right yeah sweet so yeah like i was saying earlier um, after the first coat of the sealant to prevent water from getting in there, uh, Casey let it cure for around like two or three hours, sanded it, and then applied another coat so that it'd be as smooth as possible. It looks super clean. And then he also spray painted uh, the inside of the wheel wells there just to make it black, super clean. You don't, you know, yeah, see so any. It's like a really thick kind of rust kind of bed liner. Right. It's just a sand one, so. so it's almost like rhino liner, just yeah, so not like quite as thick. It all and then, you know, makes it look clean because we have the body kit on there not as like white piercing through. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So hopefully I have some time to do those custom fender liners too, so. Hell yeah. All right, so after Casey runs the power in the ground to the battery for the airlift management system, we are installing the Corsa exhaust. I'm super stoked to hear what this different exhaust is gonna sound like. You hear Boost Logic all the time. Boost Logic's awesome, like I said, but we took that one off. We have an exhaust from our boys at Corsa, and I'm super stoked to hear what that sounds like. And then what's gonna be super fun is we're gonna drive it just like this. No wheels, no tires, just kidding. We're gonna put the wheels on, but we're gonna drive it pretty all chopped up like this. Um, I think we might put in the new taillights today, uh, but we're gonna basically put the wheels and tires on the new ones that are super wide without the wide body kit. So they're gonna be sticking out quite a bit. It's gonna look- drive it with no wheels and tires. That's what I said. That's what I said earlier. Yeah, absolutely. I think that would be sick. I mean, just this, the disc spin, right? We could, yeah. we could, it would work, yeah. Just float. Yeah, just float. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that would not be good, no. But it's gonna be super, super cool seeing the tires that are super wired just sticking out, probably about to here. Um, I don't even know if we're gonna put the trunk on. Right here, right? Right there. Oh, dude, like, that'd be sick. I think it this way. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a truck. Oh my gosh. We're just gonna put Danny's truck. And we're gonna air it all impressive. the way up too, so it's just yeah, super, monster. yeah, monster truck. So I come out here and Casey is still working on this downpipe. The bolt in there is absolutely just stuck. There's no way, we tried the plasma heater, nothing's working. So we got the Dremel in there, we're just gonna have to cut the nut off. He's dead focused right now. Look at the, look at the focus on this man's face. Absolutely legendary. No, but seriously, we gotta get that nut off. We'll pull the downpipe out. That's the final step before we can put the new downpipes in and then fit that Corsa exhaust that we're gonna be putting on today. And then we get to put on, I think that's the last step until we put on the wheels. We're gonna do a test start up, take it for a little bit of a drive, and we'll be ready to go. So y'all will literally get to see the GTR driving with the wide body wheels on, but without the actual wide body on. It's gonna look a little ridiculous. We'll probably have the front bumper off too when we're driving it, but hey, it's gonna look pretty, pretty sick when we're driving this thing down the road. It'll look a little wicked. We're definitely gonna get a lot of looks driving it down the road like this, but hey. That's the fun of it, right? All right, and Casey got that last sound pipe out, and so now is the time to put in this new Corsa exhaust. Oh man, would you look at this thing? Oh, the tips are so sick. It's almost like a black chrome finish. That is awesome. That's gonna look so good on there. So that thing's just gonna fit right under here. Is that is that four inch or three and a half? It looks like I think that looks like three and a half to me, maybe four. I think it's three and a half uh, inch piping. It's gonna fit right on there. I am so stoked to hear what this thing sounds like. Holy crap, it looks so good too. Sweet. Casey, have you heard of Ligma? Huh? Have you heard of Ligma? No, what is that? <laughs> Got him. All right, Mr. Casey has just put on the right side down pipe. There's the left side there. Thankfully, super smooth process with the new ones. The old one, that right side was that was incredibly difficult to get off. So props to Casey for doing that. He had to, had to struggle for quite some time, but hey, what matters is we're here. We've got the new downpipes going on and then 
the exhaust, which is going to be so sick. The Corsa, again, look at these tips. I am, I love these tips. I mean, they still have the plastic on there, but you can kind of see the coloring. It's like this black chrome with a little bit of like a blue titanium-ish look in there. So sick. And while Casey's getting those down pipes on, we're just double checking and making sure we have every little piece we need to put on the exhaust. We've got all the bolts, all the nuts, all the washers. We've got the drill, the wrenches. Everything we need, this thing is ready to go. So it's gonna, I, momentarily we're gonna have this thing on there. I am beyond excited, not just to see it on there, but also to hear it and to drive the thing with the wheels sticking out. It's gonna look like this crazy, I don't know, like a go-kart out on the road. So sick. Casey's got these down pipes all settled in. You can see them right there right, sticking right. out. And we've got the course exhaust ready to go on. So here we go. So we're just fitting on the mid pipe here. For those who didn't know, this part right here uh, is to add some flexion so that helps reduce the wear on these uh, welds so they don't eventually give out. As you can see, this one like flexes a good bit. So it's super helpful. Um, you know, when you hit like heavy bumps or just like the natural flex of the car if you're going over, you know, a curb or something. Wow. Uh, but don't go over curbs in your GTR. That's, that's a good, <laughs> good tip. <laughs> All right, now we're fitting the next section of mid pipe before we put on the axle back. Here we go, just gotta fit that together. It's got a little hanger on here. You can't really see it from this angle, but it's gonna fit on right here. And here we are fitting the axle back on. So this just slides right over the mid pipe and this is to secure that on, tighten that one up. And then we've got the two um, sections of pipe that go off to the side of the muffler that will attach to the tips. And then we've got the hangers here to make sure that this thing is supported. There's one that will go right there and one goes on that metal tip there. Not too bad. All right, so the exhaust is self-hanging. So here's one hanger. We still got to bolt that one in. This one is attached. We've got a hanger here and a hanger here for the axle bat part. Um, and then here's some mid pipe, which is attached with this hanger. And then the rest of the mid pipe just goes up to the down pipes. Pretty simple, not too bad. Now we're just gonna fit the tips on. So the tips will go right on there once we get this section of pipe on. We've got one more to put on and then we put on these tips. But again, just looks so freaking good. I am stoked to see, especially on the white, that kind of like dark contrast. It's gonna look phenomenal. And the tips are almost completely on. We've got this side on. It's gonna look so good once we take off that plastic wrap. And there's some good looking tips. They're definitely not coming off. Tight, nice fit. Gonna clamp them on. This one's already on with these clamps, so. Man. Got the Corsa showing up top. Looks so good. You ready, Casey? Plastic off time. There we go. There it is. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Oh, I get it. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh man, look at that. So good looking. The contrast of like the dark chrome titanium look with the white is so sick. So the next step is we're gonna take off the rear bumper. We've gotta change out the tail lights, some new ones, and the headlights. Headlights are already unscrewed, but next step is taking off this rear bumper. It should unclip and just come right off. So here we go. Oh, there she is. A little bit dirty in there, eh? Yeah, you better clean her up. There you go, bumperless GTR. So we're gonna put the new tail lights in that bumper, throw her back on, do the headlights, throw the wheels on, and we're gonna take her for a drive. So we tried out a new tail light that we haven't done on a GTR before, and my gosh, guys. I stopped it before. It looks insane. Let's check it out. Ooh, Spider absolutely killing it with these. So good looking. Completely different style than what we've done in the past. And it looks so sick. Can't wait till we have the other side on and then eventually the other, or the bumper back on with it. It's gonna look ridiculous. These are so sick. I mean, look at, I love like the double layer. Plus it's just, like, the light is so even and smooth in there. Got the blinker going, got the tail lights in. We're just gonna take off the hood and do the headlights really quick. Cool. 
are almost completely unbolted. The insides are, we're just gonna take off these two bolts and they'll pop right out. The hood's gonna come off. We're gonna drive her like that. Mad Max GTR. <laughs> Got it? Yep. I'm gonna let go. There she is, hood off. And this GTR is about to get as raw as it's been. Just take a look at that tail lights again though. Oh my gosh. Looks so sick. All right, Justin got the bolts taken out. This one's ready to pop out. Gonna take up the bolts on the other side. Watch this. Boop. Easy, easy peasy. Look at that. Love GTR headlights, but the I think it's 15 plus has the lightning bolt, and the ones that we're doing look even sicker. They're like a blacked out housing plus the lightning bolt. Looks absolute money. Stoked to see them in there. Got this car completely taken by. I mean, look, the inside's still just on the floor here. Got a downpipe there, got the rear bumper there, got the wheels here, we got the hood there. Oh my gosh, this thing, this has been a hell of a build, but once it's done, it's gonna be absolutely ridiculous. Let's see to the rescue with the key. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go, first startup. might be a little bit louder, a lot faster. To get some freaking rollers and some pictures of this thing in go-kart mode. Look at that, oh my gosh, look how much these tires stick out, it's insane. That's insane, dude. No backup, no backup camera? It's cause the bumper's not on there. Woo, sounds so good. All right, we're in the GTR in go-kart form. What's up, Casey? What up, <laughs> and we're just about to do a little, a few rollers with it here while it looks like this. It looks so ridiculous like this, but kind of cool. It's also just like super lightweight. So we're just gonna do rollers in this uh, closed off area that we're not on public roads with this thing because it's kind of crazy, but I'm gonna stick out of Danny's truck here, holding the camera, get some cool rollers, no headlights, no nothing, just the taillights. Um, and then maybe a few pictures because this thing has like crazy camber right now. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Oh my gosh, dude. Look at that thing. It's insane. This is just like the best day ever. I mean, we're chilling with the dudes. It's absolutely gorgeous out. And I'm in the back of a truck. Casey's driving this absolutely stripped down, but so sick GTR. What could be better, honestly? Look at this thing. So sick. Look how wide those tires are. You know, the fronts are huge. And the rears are just, the rears, we can't even talk about those. They're absolutely massive. This thing is just so sick like this. Look at it. The wheels turn. Definitely not air it. Can't air it out. Uh, with the wheels turned, no way. Even with uh, the wide body fenders not on, you just don't wanna air out a car with the wheels turned, just don't do it. Um, either way, we're about to air it out. We only have enough to air it out once. We gotta fix some stuff with the air compressor and stuff, uh, make sure all the lines are set before we rehook it up. But it has enough air in the tank to air down and air up one time. So that's what we're gonna do for a few pictures here, right Casey? That's all you get. Sick. But I mean, look at this, dude. The white is gonna look ridiculous. We just got the front bumper back from painting and it looks I don't think I've ever seen a better. Sick, it looks dude. so sick. Mr. Nick Long at Salt, Salt City. City of Salt. City of Salt, there we go. City of Salt paint absolutely nailed the front bumper. And I'm so stoked to see the fenders when they get in too. But for now, we're gonna take this thing right over there in the shade, get some sick pictures. So let's do it. Casey's driving this thing around. Woo, listen to that, dude. The, I'm, I, I can't lie, the Corsa was kind of the move. It looks good, it sounds good. And, oh, 
so good and the tail lights look amazing. All right, here we go. This is our uh, our one air out. Ooh, look how close it is. That's like half an inch maybe. It's got more like an inch and a half on the back, but still, my gosh, so sick. Oh, it looks so cool. All right, again, just look how crazy this thing looks aired down. The amount of camber right now is ridiculous. We'll definitely need to get it aligned, but it just looks so sick with all this camber, how it is right now. Oh my gosh, dude, it's like, how many degrees of camber do you think that is, Casey? Like you said. Seven. Seven, yeah. seven degrees, that's what I thought. <laughs> Must be that intuitive sense of camber that I have. <laughs> no, seriously, this looks so sick. Dude, I am stoked to see this build all done. What about you? Dude, I can't wait to put the body kit back on. I know, dude. Oh my gosh. There's gonna be so much contrast with the trunk, the hood, the painted front bumper, and every oh, and the diffusers black too. Yeah. Oh, dude, it's gonna look so nuts. Now we're back at the shop. That was super cool to take this thing out just how it is. But we're back to work. So next step is gonna be putting on some of performance parts. We've got the front mount intercooler, uh, intercooler piping. Uh, let's see, we already did down pipes, we've got injectors. Fuel what else, pump. Casey? Fuel pump, that's right. Yeah. Flex fuel kit, the kit. speed density yep. kit, blow off valve, sick, all dude. The all the goodies, this thing's gonna be a monster when it's done. I am way stoked. Uh, and then we're still waiting on the, the wide body fenders to get back from painting, but we do have the bumper sitting over there. It looks so good, but I'm not gonna give you a closer look till we get everything ready. And so on that episode of the build series, you'll get to see all the, uh, the wide body parts up close. But we are absolutely so stoked on this build for a shop car. It's going to be so sick to just have this thing around all the time. Um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one, and we'll see you for performance parts.